Hey, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at Star Wars Celebration, joined by Steve Sansweet. How are you doing, Steve? I'm just doing great, Norm. And you've brought part of your museum with we you have, here. Yeah, uh, this is about uh, 1 15th of 1% of the Rancho Obi-Wan collection. We figure we've got about 500,000 individual pieces. But for this show especially, we wanted to feature fan-made objects and showing the passion of the fans. Love the fan-made stuff, either whether it's modifications or custom-made toys. I really love that you appreciate that stuff too, and so that you have a new book out. Talk we, about that. We've done a book that's based on the uh, exhibition and other items that we couldn't bring, called "Inspired by the Force: Star Wars Fan Artifacts and Art." And so we're selling it here. Then we'll be selling it online at uh, www.ranchobiwan.org. And as someone who's been collecting since the very beginning, with the biggest collection. Have you seen trends in terms of fan art? What are the things that stand out to you? I, I find fan art uh, becoming uh, somewhat more political, people using religious themes. Um, we've got a, 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 a painting that really looks, oh, why would you show that? And it's like a bloody Ewok and dead stormtroopers. But it's based on a, uh, on a print from Goya from around 1810. Uh, he did a series of horrors of war when Napoleonic troops invaded Spain and committed massacres. And to use that as the offspring, we've got another piece from a Spanish artist, and he has done a version of Pablo Picasso's Guernica, the most famous anti-war print, and he's called it Wern Echo because it's the empire invasion of Echo Base on Hoth. It's really these cultural mashups with Star Wars obviously being a big part of pop culture, and then you have more traditional artistic art artisan culture. Now, uh, in, in addition to paintings, are there also physical objects that are being made in terms of the family community? Lots of physical objects, and one of the first things that really sort of inspired me to, to, to go on this path of fan art collecting was a uh, one first prize in the pinata category at a Mexico City Star Wars convention in 2004, and it's a Bantha pinata. It's over on the other side of the booth. You can actually lift the saddle and put in the toys and candy, but if anybody does that, I'll kill them. Nobody approaches that with a bat or a lightsaber. What catches your eye when you're browsing? Do you follow artists specifically? Are you looking, where, where do you discover art? Over the years, you know, I started working for Lucasfilm in 1996, and I sort of and went to hundreds and hundreds of conventions around the world and uh, tried to connect a lot of artists, talented artists, whether they were doing Star Wars art at the time or not, with Lucasfilm directly or with licensees. So I've got a lot of friends in the art world and I love all kinds of art. So we also have on display here the world's largest Star Wars painting. It was just completed about uh, two months ago by a San Francisco artist, Robert Xavier Burden, and it is based on the action figures that he had as a kid and toys and Easter eggs. And, you know, we have Yul Brenner from Magnificent Seven because George was inspired by Kurosawa movies and Magnificent Seven yeah, is, is yep, yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and, and that painting is just, uh, just amazing. And then we have something like uh, street art. So we have graffiti art from an artist named Free Humanity that combines Lando Carissian and Barack Obama and um, and it's Lando Obama and, and he's saying, you know, this deal is getting worse all the time. <laughs> That's hilarious. You talk about making connections with artists. This is definitely the place to do that. It's so great to see you here. So great that you're sharing part of that collection. We got to visit the ranch again. Absolutely. Anytime. But lots of new stuff and, and you haven't seen Jabba's Palace yet. We'll come by to check that out. Till then, we'll check out your book. Thank you so much, Thanks, Steve. Always a pleasure. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye.